My name is Simona Millam and I'm your Microsoft Office trainer and I'm really pleased that you've decided to learn PowerPoint 2016 with me because it really is one of my most favourite applications both to use and to train. So in case you didn't already know, PowerPoint is the tool that you would use to create and present slides to an audience in a formal setting quite often. And of course, if you're brand new to PowerPoint, I will take you through the basics of creating a presentation. But there's some great functionality in PowerPoint that I just don't see people using enough. So let me take you on a whistle stop tour of the highlights of this course. So we'll look at some of the interesting text effects that you can apply and how to use the drawing tools to create your own little graphics and icons like this. And even if you've got a touch device, how you can draw the shapes by hand and have them automatically converting into PowerPoint objects. We'll try out some of the clever built-in layouts for some really professional looking graphics. And I'll also take you through some tips and tricks you can use to make sure that your diagrams are really tidy and correctly aligned. And you might be surprised at the picture editing tools that we've got in PowerPoint for removing backgrounds and correcting brightness and contrast and whatnot and applying interesting effects such as reflections and bevels. Now collaboration works really well in Office 2016 and we'll explore how the co-authoring works in PowerPoint and what happens if you and a colleague make different changes to the same slide at the same time. We will also cover how you can create your own PowerPoint template with a particular theme to match your logo, or your corporate colour scheme or whatever. And of course, no PowerPoint course would be complete without exploring how one slide transitions to another and the animation effects you can apply to individual items on your slide. But I will also show you some interesting examples to give you ideas as to how you can perhaps create quizzes to really brighten up your PowerPoint deliveries. And we'll also see the really fantastic summary zoom like I've got here to allow us to easily dive into different parts of the presentation without having to follow a strict linear format there. Oh, that's got to be one of my most favourite features. We'll also try out some examples of inserting video and audio onto your slides. And finally, we'll have a look at running the show itself. And you can even do that from your iPad or your mobile device. Wow. Now I've got a bit of practical stuff that I need to mention as well because you've got 24 more nuggets you can work through on this course and if you are new to PowerPoint then I absolutely recommend that you start at the beginning and work your way through. On the other hand, if you're already a confident PowerPoint user and you rather fancy looking at triggers and action buttons or maybe looking at how to work with audio on your slides then of course you can dive into those particular nuggets without having to work your way through to them from the very beginning. Although, having said that, even if you are already using PowerPoint, I bet there are a few tips in the creating your first presentation nuggets that you didn't know. Now, because this is a training course, I would love it if you used PowerPoint alongside me because I've uploaded all of the files so you can use the very same files that I'm working on. I've included all the pictures and the audio clips and whatnot that I use so you can do it too. Now, that's really going to help with your learning, so I'd love it if you did that. And finally, it can be a bit confusing as to which flavour of PowerPoint you need to be using in order to be able to follow this course. So PowerPoint is purchased as part of Microsoft Office. And so if you have Office 2016 Professional Plus or Standard, then that would be great. But Office is also available as part of some of the Office 365 plans. Now, note that I haven't included all of the Office 365 plans on this list here. But for example, the E1 plan would not be suitable because it only contains the online version of PowerPoint, which, although it does share some functionality with PowerPoint 2016, you wouldn't be able to follow this course very easily using that alone. Any other plans, though, which include PowerPoint would be absolutely perfect. And finally, the Mac edition of Office 2016 is a different product again. And although there is some overlap of functionality, I think it would be pretty tricky to follow this course using it. Now don't forget that Office 365 is a subscription product, so that means that feature updates are released from Microsoft several times a year, so we've got new features coming out all of the time. So don't be alarmed if some of the screen captures look slightly different to what you're using, because Office is very much a living thing these days, you know, it's simply changing all of the time. So I hope I've whetted your appetite for what's to come on this course, so let's get started. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.